Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Jeremy Pettis. I'm an adult endocrinologist at the University of California, San Diego. And I've been living with type 1 diabetes since I was 15 years old. And I'm here with my very good friend, Steve Edelman. I'm also at the university. I'm an endocrinologist and been living with type 1 diabetes since 1970 when I was 15 years old. So we're here to talk to you about one of the many exciting things that's going on in the field of type 1 diabetes, specifically islet cell transplants. So let's start from the beginning, Steve. What's the main problem with type 1 diabetes? Why do people have high blood sugars? Yeah, well, basically, the cells that produce insulin, we call them the islet cells, the beta cells, they are destroyed by circulating autoantibodies months before we came down with type 1 diabetes. And so these islets, we basically need them. You know, we don't have these beta cells. Steve and I have not had them for a very long time. So we can transplant these now. We can take islets from different sources, give them back to patients as an effective cure for type 1 diabetes. So why haven't you been cured? Well, there's been a couple, you know, main issues with this. The first is the source of these cells. They've generally relied on, on cadaveric donors, people that have passed away, their organ donors having to give away their pancreases. And so there's only, you know, been a couple thousand of these transplants in the last, you know, many, many years because we just haven't had enough of these cells. But thankfully, we've been able to kind of get around that issue now. There's a company called Vertex that's been actually able to take stem cells and kind of coax them to become the insulin producing beta cells. And why is that important to you? Well, it's, it's extremely important because it increases the number of beta cells that we would need to make someone a non-diabetic. But I just want to mention that these beta cells, these islet cells, they don't just secrete insulin. They have glucose sensing cells mm -hmm. and it also secretes glucagon when you get low. So you're back to total normal auto-regulation. Mm -hmm. And so these stem cells really solve that problem that they can make enough now, literally for every single person living with type 1 or type 2 diabetes in the whole world, because you can just make these like forever, essentially. So some exciting news from this company, Vertex. They've actually now taken six patients with type 1 diabetes, infused these cells. They actually infuse it in a vein, and they actually go into your liver. They, th these cells just grab onto anything that's vascular. The liver keeps them alive just like it was in a pancreas. And all six of these patients now are all making insulin on their own. They've dramatically reduced or have been off insulin injections. Their blood sugars have improved, generally less hypoglycemia. Some, from, some very exciting kind of early results from this, this protocol. Yeah, in fact, two patients who have finished a year in this study have had no severe hypoglycemic reactions, which is an important issue to be a candidate for this study. Yeah. So who are they looking for? Well, they're looking for adults. They have to be between 18 and 65, living with type 1 diabetes for at least five years, and actually have a history of severe hypos, events that you've, you know, a bad low that you need somebody to kind of help you recover from. So if you're interested in learning more about the study, it's going on in different sites around the country. If one is close to you, et cetera, go to this website, t1dstudy.com, and you can insert your information. And if you qualify, they'll actually reach out to you. That's awesome. You know, what gives hope for all of us folks who are past the diagnosis stage. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's very exciting. All right, take care.